Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are unboxing and taking a look at a requested deck, the Ghoulish Garbs Terror Tarot. Say it five times fast, I dare you. <laughs> this is just the Major Arcana and the guidebook, so no Minor Arcana in this one at all. This retails for $34.95, I believe. I will link everything down below. I am now officially a Amazon affiliate, so that's the only place I'm affiliated with in the links below. Everyone else is just where, where you can find it and giving credit where credit is due. So that being said, let's take a look at the back here. It says, embodying the essence of the traditional writer weight, this independently published Major Arcana deck features a vibrant and frightening rendition of each card, reimagining every symbolic aspect from the grave of Every beautifully haunting image was meticulously designed, hand-drawn, and colored by our three-person team. Wow. The 22 reversible black-edged cards are finished with a lavish, soft, soft touch matte and illustrate iconic Halloween and horror characters such as Dr. Frankenstein, Dracula, the Headless Horseman, and more. An 82-page full-color guidebook is included containing detailed explanations of each embol emblematic figure and macabre interpretation. This booklet provides a deeper insight into the artistic liberties we took in creating this deck, appealing to tarot beginners and enthusiasts alike. So already, I have to say, I love the packaging on this. It's very fun, and it's very well on point with the theme. And it does have a magnetic closure here. So we open it. Ooh, let's, let's not destroy it before we get into it. <laughs> oh, look at that. How fun. I'm interested to see how terrifying this is or if it's just a fun take on the characters. It's so weird to see just a tiny little deck. So this is like a faux uh, velvet, like what you would get in a like jewelry box. I really like that. It does have a ribbon. So very nice packaging. Okay, let's take a look at the guidebook real fast to see if there's any pertinent information that we need to know. Nope, just goes right into the cards and their meanings, and it's all color, so that's fantastic. I don't see any spreads, but that's okay. Um, and I do want to mention that a lot of uh, tarot readers like to have a specific just major arcana card deck, so this might be good for those of you who only like working with the major. And it's a preference, and sometimes when you want to work with just a major arcana, it's great if you are doing any kind of magical workings on your altar. Um, if you have a specific deck that you like to use for that, that's great too. So here is the back. Very cute. I love the moon and the clouds. Look at the edges. Matte black. Love that. And here we go. Okay, so, so far not so bad. And it is a matte finish. I love that. I don't know if you know, but I don't really have a anything against matte finish, or gloss finishes. I just like the matte because I film them. So anyway, the cardstock is actually pretty decent. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, but it feels really sturdy. We'll see how it shuffles. Oh, how fun! Look at the feet. <laughs> I believe that's supposed to be Frankenstein. Medusa, yes. Love. I feel like Medusa is trending a lot right now, and rightfully so. She deserves a huge moment. Love this. That's going to be me on Halloween. <laughs> this is a very uh, cool looking vampire. How fun. Cthulhu? <laughs> I like the color vibrancy. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I love the mummy. <laughs> I'm really loving the art style and the colors. It just feels really fun, fresh. Oh my. Wow. This looks like, oh my gosh, um, the Sybaris, Sybaris. I'm not going to get the name right, but the, the Hounds of Hell, but then there's the snakes. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look in the book. Oh, I love that. Fairy man. This is fun. It's not as um, terrifying as I thought it would be. What a fun deck to have if you're into all of this. I love the art style. It's almost kind of um, like a comic booky style in a way. That's really cool. Hmm, I don't know who this is supposed to be. I love that this is death. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> How great. Okay, this is giving me Weeping Angel vibes from Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm sorry, those things are terrifying. No need to change the devil looking icon, huh? <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, I love. Love the colors. Of course, we have to have a werewolf for the moon. Oh, look at the moon. It's a jack-o-lantern. Oh, cute. <laughs> Why is he so cute? Love it. Yay, we finally have our first little witch in here. <laughs> Raising the dead. <laughs> Fun. And our last card. Ooh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Okay, that's kind of a fun concept for this card. Hmm. All right, let's see how they shuffle. I really like the way that they feel. It's so weird shuffling just 22 cards. I like this. Um, it's a little pricey considering what, uh, you know, if you compare this deck to like a Llewellyn deck. So Llewellyn deck, you're paying 30, around $30 for a full deck. Um, but to be fair, the quality of this is really nice. The cards feel very like buttery and almost velvety. The artwork is fun. I feel like this is like, if you're going to spend the money, this is a special deck, right? Like it's not probably a deck that you're going to use for all of your readings. I think this would be like a special deck for certain things. Um, maybe you only bring it out around Halloween season. Maybe you only bring it out for certain readings or certain clients. I feel like if you are like a classic horror enthusiast, this is going to be a fun deck for you even though it's only the major arcana. And like I said, a lot of readers like to have at least one just major arcana deck for when they're either working with their um, altar or working with the energy of the cards, or if they have just specific spreads. Some people like just a 
like to just work with the major arcana energy and that's perfectly valid and fine so it's you know up to you and what you feel is um going to work for your practice um i think it's fun i think these are fantastic i'm going to figure out how i want to use them i absolutely love this death card that is so much fun um it's just really cute okay so before we um go i wanted to pull a card real fast and see we're <laughs> pulling for death and look what it came after that that's so funny okay um and read from the guidebook so let's read for death and it doesn't have a table of contents so i'm docking it a point for that because i do love to flip right to the page that i need all right so beautifully done inside the book here and it says our depiction of death features characters found in the legend of sleepy hollow by washington irving the headless horseman rides on a white horse raising his inflamed jack-o-lantern head the terrified ichabod crane cowers before him pleading for mercy but alas he cannot escape the ultimate fate the horseman's absence uh, of a physical being is representative of both the ephemeral state of the human body as well as death's invincibility and inevitability the white horse signifies purity as its rider's arrival cleanses and makes way for the new death wears a suit of black a color which encapsulates the presence of mourning he sits on a black saddle decor uh, black saddle blanket decorated with a five petal white rose a sign of change and transformation its dichotomic tones paint the importance of balance in a world made of grays while vacancy and non-existence are symbolized in the cloth's dark color the flowers bright petals reflect a sense of purity newness and birth a river runs along the middle ground of the scene serving as the boundary between this world and the next sailing its waters is a ghostly ship escorting the dead to their eternal damnation beyond the river atop the mountain we see two lofty twisted trees representing the duality of nature their position on the mountain is a reminder for us to seek spiritual knowledge the river runs through the trees to encourage the pursuit of balance within us. The moon seemingly rises between the trees, symbolizing the cycle of life. Each day when the sun dies, the moon emerges to take its place. This is yet another expression of this card's central theme, the inevitable and unbreakable cycle of life and death. Wow, I was not expecting all of that. So, okay, I am impressed. This was one deck that I always thought about purchasing but never really wanted to for the sheer fact that it was just a major arcana and it was kind of pricey for for that but now that i see the guidebook and the card quality i'm here for it um and you know like i said it um it de just depends on what your purpose is for the deck is um and you know again the the price is a little hit and miss for me um considering the the fact that it's only the major however it's independently produced it was only three people that did it i get it it makes sense the price point makes sense to me when you consider all of that it is not a mass production type thing um which i think now it is actually considered i don't know don't quote me on that but <laughs> but i am so curious to know what you think about this is this something that you're excited about are you disappointed that it's only 22 cards i would love to see a full uh full 78 card deck of this however um i mean i can see that being very uh it could get very convoluted really fast so that being said let me know what you think about this deck if it's on your list or if it's a hard pass and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video that way you will never miss an upload from me Thank you so much for all of your love and support, and I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.